spreadsheet user guide video four, uh, version four, video four. Uh, SLC and size. SLC uh, stands for stop loss cluster. Um, so SLC uh, it tells us where the retail guys have got their stops uh, clustered at a particular location at a particular price level. Um, so before I talk about the SLC, um, we do get the data from FX SSI um, from the products and resources in the MetaTrader 4 products, and this is the indicator. 100% uh, recommended that you download it thoroughly, uh, wholeheartedly uh, have it you know, in your trading um, plan. Um, you definitely want to be using it. Uh, it will come at a cost, but you can use the um, QuasiDB code. It has to be in caps lock, and that gets you a, a pretty significant discount. You can do monthly or annual saving. Um, Pro Plus gets you five terminals. The Pro just gets the one terminal. Um, but yeah, if you use the Quasi DB code, you'll get a humongous discount. And with the Pro Plus, the Pro license, then you'll get access to the stop loss clusters, which, you know, it's just not having them would just be uh, ridiculous because they're so powerful. And so, how do we use the stop loss clusters? Well, we can use them for target areas because this is where the retail guys have got their stops. And this is where they've got their stops. So this is above and this is below. And why would we, uh, how, would, which, how would we know which one to target? So we'd know to target the one above because of that logic. We are below 50%. And we also know that Aussie is quite strong as well. So, and uh, thirdly, maybe the most important of all is the risk on, risk off uh, flows. We know that we're risk on because of the retail sentiment in the dashboard. So if you're in the dashboard, if you've got green, green, green sales, that's risk on, and that's going to be good for the Aussie yen and the Aussie dollar. And it's going to be pretty bad for the yen and the dollar, generally speaking, because there's, there's, there's no appetite for dollar or yen. When stocks are rallying, there isn't any need to seek refuge in safe havens. So this is why these would, um, this is why we target the SOC above, you see. So hopefully that's clear. You'd use the fundamental logic and the sentimental logic to know where to target. Um, and then you just exit there, uh, potentially, or you can let it run. It's up to you. By having the um, MetaTrader 4 indicators on your screen, you could then watch the sizes increase or decrease. If they increase, it tells us that they move their stops higher. And so price is going to come up to hunt their stops. If the price gets smaller, then the you know the the big boys and the big wallets they've got that liquidity and they've punished the retail guys, and so then they'll just go off in a whimper and uh, the you know then the school bullies got their lunch money. So if the size got larger, then we can see continuation. If the size got smaller over time, then we'll see reversal. And you can only see this by using the uh, MetaTrader 4 FX SSI .com products. It's the only way that you're going to, have to see that liquidity whether or not we're going to see reversal continuation. This is why you definitely need to get that indicator and you're more than welcome to use that uh, code as well. So that explains that liquidity areas where to target and why and um, which one you target. You could target the larger of the two, but um, you still would probably want to use the sentimental logic really. And so um, you know, we were a buy on the Aussie USD, so we would still target the SOC above, despite it being smaller of the two. Okay, so that would still be your target. It won't necessarily target the larger of the two, and people have focused so much on the size that they've lost sight of the big picture. And the big picture is your fundamental are we risk on or risk off? And the sentimental are we a buy or a sell? And are we a buy more of a buy or more of a sell over time? And that indicates that we are actually more of a buy over time. And that agrees with the high level. This is the low level. And then we've got the fundamental logic. So you could, if you want to be a bit contrarian, and uh, you could target the one below. But really, logically, we should be targeting this one for all those reasons I explained. Okay. And so the SFC change over time. See, this could be useful. Um, see, the SFC... Uh, above for euro yen, it was quite small at 1.79 above. Okay, 
and now the size for the euro yen is 4.13 so it's actually doubled in size the old size is 1.79 the new size is 4.13 so um, whether or not the stops just have to cluster together or they've actually sold it in a big way there is no indication that they did sell it so it looks like uh, for some reason um, they've just clustered their stops um, at that particular level at 13065 so anything that's sticking out in the color scheme then it's worth just having a little look um, does it agree with the shifting uh, so there's uh, gold so gold above was 0.9 so it's quite small and the one above is now is uh, 2.14 so uh, it's got a little bit larger so we could potentially come up to get that liquidity because it's increased in size okay and the SLC below is unchanged and that's at 1650 it's so far away you think it would be safe but will it be we you know only time will tell so this is how you can use that logic um, look for increases anything you know it's really um, of of note and if it is uh, agreement to the fundamental and the sentimental then you know you've got your target levels there and if you've got the indicators on your screen even better because then you can see if it's gonna reverse or it's gonna continue and so 100% um, recommend that you get the indicators and hopefully this video is clear on how to use it there's just your basket physical performance um, so we should see pound strength which we have been Aussie should be a bit stronger, maybe. But you see how the pound is a strong buy and the Aussie is a strong buy. And that's those two. The euro and the CAD. Euro is weak. Look where the location is. And the CAD is pretty much a non-mover. The dollar is also agreement as well because it's not in the strong buy. It was down here earlier today and it's gone over the fence. And so obviously you see that ref um, reflection in price performance. So... Uh, this should, in speech marks, agree with the bubbles, and we just that proves that the retail sentiment is working. And when they go one way, then price does the opposite. So uh, keep an eye on this yen bubble for the subscribers. It's kind of interesting what's going to happen. I'm not really sure what's going on there. So we should be coming over here because of risk on, and we know that the yen shouldn't really be performing well on a risk on environment. So we could be seeing like a little shift. Uh, in the risk so keep an eye on that yen bubble and uh, yeah so i'll wrap up this one and then i'll talk about the search tool next